Hi, this is Joe from Gentleman Stationer, and welcome back to another episode of Currently Inked. I haven't done one of these these little uh, videos in a while. Um, I started the series as just short discussions of the various pens that I've got inked up from week to week in what I've been using recently. Um, this past week, um, I had inked up some new pens because I got some new items in the shop, and I've also just been playing around with my vanishing points, which I haven't used in a while. So I thought it might be fun to do a video on um, retractable capless fountain pens. Uh, I've got three that we're going to talk about today. The first one is a new one I've received. It's the it's the Pilot Vanishing Point, or the Pilot Capless, as it's known in Japan, um, in this mustard yellow color, but it also comes with the special alloy nib, um, which is their stainless steel nib, which is not found, um, I don't think you can find it in the U.S. It's not distributed in the U.S. You've got to order it directly from Japan, but I've really been pleasantly surprised with how it writes. Um, it's got a little bit of a firmer writing experience than the typical, um, the typical Pilot Vanishing Point gold nib, which is the standard here. Um, I really bought this pen not necessarily for the nib, but for that mustard yellow color, which which I absolutely love, and it looks um, it looks just as good in person as it did online, and I'm I'm really glad I finally have one of these in my collection. Um, the other two I'm going to be looking at are two new pens that were recently released. You have the Endless Creator uh, retractable fountain pen. This is the this is the new original design from Endless, the makers of the recorder notebooks. Um, they're based in India. My understanding is that they designed this pen from scratch and had it manufactured with the goal of creating a retractable capless fountain pen at a low price. Um, came out at about $50. Um, it's got a very interesting design on it. Some people like it, some people don't. Um, it can go hot or cold, but we'll look at how that works as well. And last but not least, we have Platinum's Matte Curados, which is the special uh, special release Platinum Curados that just hit stores. Um, the Curados is, is Platinum's answer to a Platinum's answer to the Vanishing Point. They set out to make a lower cost retractable fountain pen a few years ago. Came out with the Demonstrator Curados, had some problems with nibs and feeds. Um, fixed those problems, but then never really updated the line until now. And they released um, they released a series of matte textured um, Curados retractable fountain pens in blue, black, and red. I've got one of the blue ones here, and we'll walk through that one as well. Um, but stay tuned, and we'll go through these one at a time. Um, I'll take them apart, show you how to fill them, and tell you what I like and what I don't like about them. All right, so to start First, we've got the um, we've got this yellow, this mustard yellow special alloy vanishing point. Um, the vanishing point is one of the you know, it's one of the classic modern pens. Th this is the new model uh, or the new the new body version. Um, they there are some older ones from the '70s and the '80s that had faceted bodies, which are more expensive now. You can sometimes find them secondhand on eBay and at pen shows. But the vanishing point, it's got a solid mechanism. The one thing that people sometimes have an issue with is the placement of the clip. Depending on how you grip your pen, the clip may or may not get in the way of how you hold the pen. For me, I typically just rest my finger there right on top of the um, of the of the clip at the end of the barrel, and it doesn't really it doesn't really bother me. So when I write, typically it's something like this. So, I mean, this is not a pen that I typically use to write for out to write with for hours upon end. It's not a pen that I'm going to draft a novel with. It's one that I use for short writing sessions. Sometimes I'll carry it with me when I'm um, when I'm writing in my planner or one of my plotters on the go. Um, the thing about the vanishing point is that it's probably the easiest, as you'll see, of many of the um, of the of these retractable nib pens to refill. You take the insert out and open it up, um, pull the cap off if you're using a if a cartridge, and you either stick your pilot cartridge on the end or you'll stick your pilot converter on the end, and then just insert it back into the barrel. There's no, um, there's not multiple parts um, to unscrew and disassemble as you'll sometimes see um, with the other two that we're going to be looking at today. Um, so that's the vanishing point. Again, this particular color and the, the stainless steel nib that I just did a writing sample with 
these aren't necessarily carried in the U.S. You're going to have to go online um, to order this particular model directly from Japan unless you've got somebody who imports them. All right, so now we're back with the Endless Creator. Um, and this one, I don't know, people people have been hating a little bit on the looks. Um, it, it's polarizing. Uh, it's got this chunky, blocky, faceted design. Um, it's got a folded metal clip. I mean, it looks like an inexpensive fountain pen. It is. Um, it sells at around $50, which when you consider that it's a fairly complicated um, retractable fountain pen mechanism, coupled with the fact that it's an original design, it's kind of amazing that they managed to bring this thing to market in the quantities they did at this price point. Um, you know, the mechanism is not as solid as, say, the Vanishing Point and the Curados. It's got a very small nib on it. The one thing that I've got, the, the one sort of design issue that I have with it, this pen writes pretty well, um, but I wish that the nib extended just a little bit further out um, because when you're writing with it, sometimes you lose sight of where the nib is. That said, for a, you know, a stainless steel nib on a pen like this, it's a pretty smooth writer and it doesn't, you know, it writes correctly. It doesn't, the, the body of the pen doesn't drag the page or anything. The nib has plenty of clearance to write. So you can... You can see that it actually lays down a fairly wet line um, for a fine, fine steel nib. I was worried it was going to be dry and scratchy. It's not. It's a nice little writer. Um, it's got an interesting filling system on it. It's a little bit involved to disassemble and fill. So you're going to unscrew the barrel, sort of like the Pilot Vanishing Point. It's got this cap on the end of it. So you're going to pull the nib, the nib cartridge out. Um, you know, the nib is attached to this metal sleeve here. And I've got the, the converter in this one. It takes a standard international cartridge um, that just fits down in there. But the converter is similar to those Caveco Sport converters or Monteverde Mini converters that you sometimes see in pocket pens. It's got a fairly small capacity and it's a plunger style converter so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna work it and show it uh, show you how it works because or else I'll end up with ink all over my hands but you'll just put the cap back on the converter and then put the nib nib unit back in the pen it'll close it so that the facets line up and you're good to go so that's the Endless Creator. Um, full disclosure, we do sell these in the shop. We have a few of them left. Um, they've sold pretty well. And, you know, I haven't heard any anything bad about them. I think most people who want to buy one of these take them for what they are as a, as a good, solid, knock-around, um, retractable nib fountain pen. Um, I like it because, you know, really at this price point, at the $50 price point for a retractable fountain pen, you're either going to get... Um, a knockoff. There are knockoff vanishing points out there on the market made by companies. I won't publicize those here. Or, you know, you're, you know, something, you're, you're going to get something else that doesn't have a, you know, a, an original design or a mechanism like this. I give Endless a lot of points for designing something original and trying to bring something truly unique to the market. Um, even if it's, uh, you know, got a ways to go in terms of the final design and even if you don't like the aesthetics of this pen, I imagine, I imagine for many of you, this is going to be a pass unless you're, you're kind of into this chunky faceted design. Um, you've got to hand it to them that this was a pretty adventurous attempt for their first attempt at a fountain pen. And, you know, that's the kind of thing that I want to encourage. And it's the kind of thing that I like to see from the industry. Um, so that's the endless creator. All right, so we're back with the third retractable fountain pen that we're going to look at today, and that's the Platinum Curados in this matte blue finish. This is a recent release. Um, the Curados came out a few years ago um, in several demonstrator models that are still available. It sits at a nice price point. The standard pens are about $80. Um, these are a little bit more expensive because they're a special release. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see them join the regular lineup depending on how they sell, sell because they're really nice. They have a nice matte texture on them. 
Um, but these are a little bit more expensive. They're also sold in a set with a bottle of blue ink, a converter, and a cartridge. So you got everything you need in the box to get writing. Um, the Curados does a very good job of ergonomics once the pen is deployed. Uh, it, it's got a nice balance on it. It's got a nice size. And also they've designed it in a way so that how most people grip the pen, your fingers are going to avoid either the clip or this notch that locks the nib into play into place. So you can see that when you write with it, your fingers aren't um, rubbing up against any of the any of the components. At least mine aren't. Um, I've been writing with this pen for the past couple of days um, since I've gotten these in, in stock. Um, I really like this. I'm keeping this matte blue one um, with a steel medium nib on it. Uh, it's a nice writer. And I think I'm going to break my other Curados out. I have a clear red one with a fine nib from back in the day when they when they first launched. And, you know, I kind of I kind of miss using that pen. The one thing I am going to show you with the Curados is that it's a little bit tricky to fill. So I've got this one filled with a converter. And if you can see... It's kind of got this weird spring-loaded filling system <laughs> where you unlock um, where you unlock all these different these different components that work together. And this one here has this. Uh, I don't even know if I can figure out how to how to get this um, to get this apart. Well, there, got it. So you pull off this this shield, this uh, kind of uh, shield. The um, the nib uh, attaches to the converter that way. You can either fill with a cartridge or a converter, but then you've got to put this little sheath part onto the on top of the converter or the cartridge. Lock it in place. Then you're going to lock this in to the mechanism. And finally, you know, you've got the pen ready to go. This is a, I would say it's a little bit over-engineered to put it, to put it mildly, but it's, it's kind of fun. It's the pen geeks pen. I like to play around with it. Uh, I like that platinum makes this pen. Um, the pen itself uh, you can find for less than a hundred dollars. And, you know, again, it's just the type of, you know, creativity and innovation that you like to see in the market. Even if you don't like the aesthetics, you got to hand it to them that, you know, they're trying to put something unique out and it's an original design. Um, so again, points for originality. And I actually like it as a writer. So we've looked at three today. I'll just sum up. We've got the, the Endless Creator, the Matt Curados, and then the Steel Alloy Vanishing Point. Um three great everyday writers. I've been using all three of these regularly for the past few days. And, you know, that's my currently inked for this week.